Hey, good morning, everyone. It's about 4.30 in the morning here. This is a very, very good friend of mine's uh, two-pill test. Um, two-pill bench, two-pill, I mean. So, I put a new board in it. Had a two pill board in it. Um, has two HG twenty eight seventy nine C's in it, which is interesting. I put these in here. There's two Toshiba's I took out of it. Very good non red dots. Oh, I hate that thermal grease. Um. I just left the trimmer pod in here. Did not put a fixed value in there for them. I just left this in here. Uh, this is what was in the other one. So, and I utilized the two holes here that were already drilled in the heat sink. And when I went to put the three pill board on it and mount it up here, it was too far over uh, the heat sink was too far over for this to go on top of there which is fine not a problem at all um, they did grind the back of it where the SO 239's go I replaced the two SO 239's and I put them in that uh, in that three pill now Y'all remember that the three pill to start with only did about 320 watts. <clears throat> this is a two pill with just my radio drive on my 949. It had blown a final, so I put it in there and power came way up on it. Uh, so evidently the final was getting weak and it finally just took a crap. Um, yeah, so. <clears throat> We do not have long screws in here. We have screws and a nut and it put on there like not all stupid. I did not put that in there. Um has a 120 millimeter fan grill, 92 millimeter high speed Alina fan that I had gave him. Um so Put a 5 amp relay in here. Of course, you all know I love doing this. And the reason for this is that I have had a 2 pill base that the relay was wanting to lock up on. Um, for some reason or another, it's the only one. Uh, so we got sent back, and I'm like, I'm like scratching my head, and I'm like, well, the hell is going on here? So I'm thinking about back about the old school stuff. Well, they got capacitors going to the input and output. Hmm. So I did that to. Uh, <clears throat> Two pill base, problem gone, totally eliminated. Uh, been working sweet ever since. So, um, <laughs> that's me right there, baby. <laughs> but yeah, back to this. Now in all fairness, it does more than my standard 2 pill HG uh, 2879 now I, the reason why I put C's in here is because I have been wanting to play with it and I have been too lazy to put it on a prototype board <laughs> there I go talking about other people not putting on a prototype board and I'm too lazy to put it on a prototype board myself but, 
the same thing as a prototype board but in circuit so <clears throat> great so that's why I pulled two Toshibas out and I said you know what I'm gonna put these in it um supposedly this amp had an oscillation problem um when I got it here and I hooked it up I noticed no oscillation problem at all <clears throat> it worked fine uh, with the two Toshibas in it uh, but anyway it didn't have a variable on it so he wanted a variable put in it so I put an Allen Bradley variable in it Allen Bradley baby and uh yeah, so I made it so I could put some electrolytics on it to help with the output power. Now, in all fairness, this one only has one electrolytic. Um, it's not built. So that is that other two pills an older build of mine. Um, I have progressed since then. Uh, so it's worked out very well uh, yeah so as you know the three pill originally was doing 110 120 watts uh, the other three pill was doing 110 120 watts average on 14.5 volts um, that's weird because that thing was just on 14.5 and that thing went to 14.7. Oh well, that's just a voltmeter. Uh, probably. But, uh, anyway, it's going to be the same voltage that the, uh, that the 3-pill I'm messing with, uh, um, is on. And I utilize the same transformers, the same pill strips. I change the feedback out. Uh, use the same diode. I put in different uh, 103s to uh, keep the RF out of there. I did upgrade the power wires to number 8. It had these on it. Uh, so, that's where we're at. And I am very pleased with the results of this. Uh, yeah. I can't remember what the value of this is. Uh, I usually write all this crap down. I'm going to have to read that, write it down, and put it in my book of secrets. Um, But I, I did notice the same turns as a regular HG, same transformer, same way I build regular HGs. Uh, you know, T61 may, may make a, a bigger difference. I don't know. I didn't change it out. Um, but... I had to really, really raise the output capacitance on here from normal HG's build. Uh, and this, I believe, is raised up really high also. Um, I think this is somewhere in the in the uh, <clears throat> high capacitance range. Let's see what it is. Battery. Oh, now my battery's weak. Well, that's why I got this. Solve that problem right now. There we go. All right.
but let's connect one end here and let's connect let's just oh, this damn thing has got such short leads on it let me just hook it to ground see what it reads come on I know that ain't right One seventy five. I don't know if that's uh, that's the only thing I hate about this damn thing is just leads are so short. But hold on a second. I give up. <laughs> I give up. I'll pull it and read it. Uh, I give up on that. It's on it. Take too much time. Uh, anyway. I don't know why I didn't take time to. Oh, I know why. Because I put it in there and I didn't even. Uh, I haven't even read it. So. I need to pull it and read it, uh, but I know the output capacitance is way up there. Um, so, okay. Now we are in the same voltage, three pill. And my wife is calling. Anyway, come on. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble now because I just declined the call. So we turned it on. I changed the LED to blue. I put a variable in it. Put a nice uh, solid aluminum knob on it. Uh, three caps. Now, when you get to a certain point, three caps, the caps don't stop creating power. Uh, a ferrite making noise against the side uh, so let's go to average same bolts 2879 C's 500 watt slug middle scale average audio input reflect audio hello audio break 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 hello audio break break <clears throat> pretty good big watt audio hello audio audio alright so it's doing about 50 more watts than uh, that two pill on 14.7 volts. Let's crank this baby up to 16 volts. I hear a fan getting faster. I haven't tried it on 16 volts the first time. I am on the phone with my hand. Audio, hello, audio, break, 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 break. <clears throat> this thing on 16 volts is doing the same power <clears throat> as that three pill right now. Um, we just radio drive. I'm not going to hook a driver up to it. I could. 
but I'm not right now because the video is already 15 minutes long. Um, yeah, so let's see what the average watts are. The 16 volts. Audio, hello, audio. Quite a bit more. 150. That's it. 2879Cs. My friend is going to be very, 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 very happy with this. <clears throat> it is neat. It is tucked in there. It is not a clear coated board. And of course, I have one ground lug holding it here. Holding the board in. Two in the back. And don't need anything on the side because I got two in the back. Uh, I couldn't utilize these holes. They're too big to have some big screws in them. But anyway, so, yeah. I bet the, uh, I bet Toshiba's aren't doing, I forget what Toshiba's were doing. <laughs> they weren't doing that much. But, uh, anyway. All right, saving threes, y'all. Y'all take care. Good morning. I got to get inside. My wife called, and I declined to call, so I know I am in big trouble. <laughs> I'll catch y'all later. Back at Ams, Alley Cat Town, Alabama. And I'm gone. <laughs>